or get up. That's how we were raised back in the day, mm-hmm. right? And then you go be friends. Now yeah. they can sit there and, and, and dish it out, but when somebody jumps back, and, oh, they, they bullied me, they abused me. But what about your actions? Take look, take, take, take up your own actions. If not, just keep talking. Cause I don't give a hell. But I just like to ask you sometimes because I was bored before I got on here, and I thank y'all for making me get stress release because this has been fun to me. Blah, blah, yeah, blah. Yeah, get it all out now, mama. <laughs> Wait till I meet my match when I'm 58. If anybody wants to do that at 58 and think they're proud that 30 years old whip a 58-year-old woman, I think that'd be kind of dumb on their part. Listen, nobody says I can whip ass. I said they'll know I've been there, and they won't confront me again. That's what I say. I didn't say I can whip your ass. I never said I whip your ass. I said I won't step down. That's what I said. Right. Hey, Brittany, um, I'm not, I'm it doesn't matter. to just go up and hit people. No, I don't do that. Don't even put, yeah, go ahead and put that out there. Brittany, it doesn't matter who Angela's friends with, but make sure you, because you're spreading rumors, and I'm going to snap this, that you have facts of what you just said. What did she say? Oh, she's saying that you're friends with Jeremiah, another abuser. Make sure you guys have facts of what you're saying. Receipts, not just TV or Ready, somebody yeah, else talking. You know what? Let's let's start, let's start investigating these mugs. Let's do that, Queen. Let's oh, just dig one out and then let's just dig and let's just start investigating. But you know what? That's not my style. I see that's take too much work for me. Yeah, you know, I, don't clean, I don't clean my room, so what the fuck I want to dig in someone else's business? Ah, <laughs> 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 not me. Why'd you catch him? I want to be with you everywhere. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that moon. That is pretty. That was really pretty. Do you want to see my moon? No. <laughs> <laughs> and like I said, you watch TV, you're going to believe everything you see, right? Let me tell you, y'all believe the news because the news is much baloney too. So you're going to leave right. the shows. Man, they, the news gets paid, you know, big bucks to lie all the time, yeah, you know? Man, so oh, you get on Look at all. Either shut up or get up. That's how we were raised back in the day. <sighs> okay. So where do we go from here? <laughs> all right. First and foremost, yes. Growing up, you know, um, it's a matter of if somebody gives it, you give it back. Simple as that. Okay. But, uh, that is not the same thing as somebody standing their ground and then you abusing them back. The matter of the fact is, you know, she speaks about, you know, back in the day, someone can say something and then you can give it back and it is what it is. But the thing is that when Michael tries to speak, you cut him off every single step of the way. You don't even let the man even finish his sentences. You know what I'm saying? And even when he gets a chance to even start a sentence or even get half a full sentence or even be able to finish a sentence, the sentence would then finish with you being in his face, telling him to shut up, telling him to stop talking, telling him that he's a scammer, telling him that he doesn't know what he's talking about, telling him that he's a liar, telling him that he's fake, telling him that he's pretending to, 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 to be a nice guy, telling him that he's a horrible person, literally telling him all the things that are just mean as hell. So I don't know how she thought that this comparison was ever going to make any sense. And this comparison was ever going to fly in any kind of situation because the grand scheme of it, it is far from the same bloody thing because here's the thing if it was a thing where you know marco says something and then you were just standing your ground and it was something that clearly looked as if it isn't exactly abusive no one would be talking about it but the fact that michael says something and then when he says something you get up all in his face you use your fingers to point at him you use your hands to claw at him okay and then also on top of that there's been occasions where you even Put your hands on him and if you're not putting your hands on him you're putting your hands on his on his on his car and sh- how can you sit and say that these things are not signs of abuse make that make sense angela dean <laughs> but the demon will never see what the demon is done wrong but the demon will always think that the demon is done right the demon does not know anything about accountability the demon only knows about being a narcissist and that's pretty much about it if you did what i'm saying but at the end of the day the fact that she sat here with her minions with her unhinged minions thinking that it's okay to make these weird justifications is crazy to me and then also on top of that let's talk about this whole comparison with the news and and reality tv oh yes 100 percent. when you watch the news a lot of the things if not most of it if not all of it is absolute bs you know what i mean that's why i don't watch the news so i'm not going to disagree with that but then to use it as a comparison to us having an opinion on angela because of what she's like on the show is far from the same thing simply because you see angela isn't someone who's just 
judged because of the way she is on the show. She's someone who's judged because of the way she's also on social media. There is no editing on social media by the production team. TLC have nothing to do with what she does in the media. That is all up to Angela Dean. Whether that's her out with out with friends and then find her friends, whether that's her out doing a karaoke celeb 90 day karaoke meet and greet nonsense where she's then grinding on men who don't even want her near her, whether that's her booking flights to Canada to see a man and then denying that the fact that she's not even into the man. Come on now, make it make sense. The fact is, everyone's opinion on Angela Deem isn't solely based on her, on her on the show. Everyone's opinion on Angela Deem is solely based on her off the show. Or at least my opinion of her is based on what she's like also off the show. Because at the end of the day, here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. When, it's, when someone is simply a demon, there'll be a demon in all areas in life. And Angela Deem seems to be that demon in every single areas of life. Whether it's on reality TV, she's a freaking demon. Whether that's... Was she in Dr. Phil? No. Whether it's Murray, she's a demon. Whether it's Night Day Fiance, she's a demon. Whether it's in her personal life, probably a demon. Whether it's in social media, she's a demon. Whether, she, whether it's in a public setting with friends and trying and meant to be having a good time, she's a demon. Whether it's a meet and greet, night and day, karaoke, bloody da da da, she's a demon. The demon can never hide from being a demon. That's why we all know the difference between good and bad. You know what I'm saying? It is never confusing between what is good and bad. You know what I mean? Come on now, let's make it make sense. But Angela, demon, <laughs> can continuously be online saying all of these things to justify her actions, to try and protect herself from what she's been doing. But the matter of the fact is the evidence is already here online. Now, I don't know about this person that we're talking about Angela's friends with, like, I have no idea who that is, but to be honest with you, these people who decided to be on these live streams with Angela a day in and day out to be there to, serve, to, to, to defend her, to support her, to make her look as if she's some sort of queen and the rest of us are absolute peasants is beyond me. What these people need to recognize is that these people who are on these lives with Angela, you are all peasants you are all unhinged peasants because the matter of the fact is if this if it, if it came to a moment where angela could dip, could choose to defend you guys or to save herself she's not coming to you she's not coming to your aid she's going to throw you under the bus quicker than one two three which is why she's angela demon she only thinks about herself does not think about anybody else but herself this is the same woman that wasn't even allowed to one of her daughters uh, um, um, uh, to, to, to Scotty's baby, wait, to, I think her daughter Scotty's dad's funeral wasn't even allowed then. Details on why I don't really know, but to be honest, if she's not allowed to go to a funeral, that says a lot to me personally. And then also on top of that, let's not forget though, when they're talking about obviously trying to defend Angela and her ways, let's not forget that one of her daughters did what? <laughs> Is on record for what? Because her, because the environment that Angela creates for people is unsafe. It's unkind. Michael ran away for a reason. Because being in that household was not safe for him. Being in that household was a risk for him. Being in the household was unhealthy for him. Being in that household was unstable for him. Being in that household was terrifying. Despite the fact that, yeah, he may have used it for the green card. Despite the fact that, yeah, he put himself in this position. Do you know what I mean? Despite the fact that, yeah, he has to take accountability that he waited six, uh, uh, was it seven years, nearly seven years to basically be this woman. So to be fair, I always say this before, I don't necessarily have sympathy towards Mark in terms of the fact that he put himself in this position. But at the same time, I'm definitely not going to tolerate the fact that Angela thinks it's okay for her to abuse him just because I guess he's a Nigerian, right? Who scammed her? <laughs> Whatever her reasons are, who knows? Who cares? Either, either way, the woman is... But with that being said, though, thank you so much for your time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, peace.